Yo, what's going on, guys? We are back again, and today we are going to talk about MPC 2.8 and some of the new features that come with the software. So let's go ahead and dive in. Um, if you look at the screen, you'll notice that the uh, main interface has changed a little bit. Um, on track one right under here where you see the input ports, you'll also see that you have a send to button now, which lets you send MIDI between tracks. So this is grayed out because we're on track one, but you can take the MIDI from track one, send it to track two. Before we show you how to do that, also notice right here that pad perform has moved. So pad perform isn't a separate screen anymore. You can actually, it's actually right here next to uh, our actual pads. So it's easier to get to. Now you can just change the scale. Let's say we want to change the scale to C major. Cool. Now we have our MPC live hooked up. So instead of doing notes, I think I'll do uh, progressions and I'm going to just do a quick chord, pro chord progression. It uh, may not make sense or anything. Just bear with me. But I'm showing you that the first new feature is uh, allowing you to send MIDI from one track to the other. So look at the tracks. Track one is empty. Let's go to track two. Track two is empty. All right, and track two has a completely different sound on there. So just for context, this is the sound on track two. All right, it's just some weird arpeggio. Track one, strings, right? Okay, so we have strings on track one, arpeggio on track two. Let's go ahead and program something. And you won't see me do too much from the screen. I'm going to use the MP to program everything, so hold up. All right, so let's play it back to see how it sounds. Okay, so sounds cool. I'm gonna turn everything up. Uh, these are not properly quantized. It doesn't really matter but I'm just a stickler for detail, so let me fix that. All right, boom, so we got four bars right here. Now, you can send MIDI from one track to another in 2.8. All you have to do is go to this button right here and go from track one to track two. Okay, now watch the change, or listen to the change. All right, we're gonna turn off the metronome. Okay, now I know that was probably extremely loud, but you pretty much get where that was going. When you didn't send any MIDI, only one sound was playing. All right, but when you send the MIDI to a different track, whatever instrument is loaded up, or whatever uh, MIDI events, or whatever, um, you know, whatever sound you have on that track, uh, these MIDI events will be triggered. just like that so now you have two sounds playing at the same time so it's really great for layering uh for creating textures pads and all that i'm not sure if it works with drums but let's try it out okay so it works with drums all right so that's pretty cool um what i'll do now is i'll go ahead and set this back to uh, nothing and i'll re uh, put this back to none. All right, cool. So um, another new feature that they have in 2.8 is a uh, retrospective record, which is basically recording notes that you didn't hit record on earlier. So if you use, um, if you've ever used Ableton 10 or something like that, there's a feature where you could start playing something, but let's say you didn't press record and you're like, crap, I lost that retrospective record actually is always recording in the background so you never lose any of those events for example right I'm gonna go to my drum track cool now I have drum sounds on here all right I'm gonna press undo because retrospective record was already listening But if you see this button up here, that's for retrospective record, and that's the uh, short keys for it as well. But 
let's go ahead and pretend to program something right quick all right all right you see how those events just appeared out of nowhere and now this is grayed out because retrospective recording and recording anything else but here's what it captured All right, so it captured those first events that I made when I was just playing around and then way down here in 14 and 15 it captured what I just did. So I'm gonna get rid of that and get rid of this. All right, and let's start from scratch. Let's say we're playing around. All right, and then let's press retrospective record. Boom. All right. So it just recorded those ghost notes that I didn't play. So that's another interesting feature that they gave us this time around. So if you ever have, you know, a tight chord progression you made that you forgot to hit record on or something like that, then this will save you a lot of time and it'll save you honestly a lot of headaches in the future. So aside from that, a couple of other major improvements that were made um, include MIDI multi records. So let's say you have a couple of different MIDI devices loaded up. We're going to go to a track view now. The beautiful thing about MIDI multi-record is now you can arm multiple MIDI tracks at the same time so that say if you have um, a keyboard plugged up and um, it's a MIDI keyboard, regular old MIDI keyboard, but then you also have some out uh, outboard hardware hooked up. So you have like a Moog or something like that hooked up. You can arm multiple tracks at the same time and you can handle all the ports on each track way better than you could in earlier versions of MPC. So if you want, you can go into the MIDI and the sync settings and they've kind of edited some stuff. So these are all set to tracks now. So you can able, enable a, uh, a track to add this port to a MIDI track. Um, oh, my bad. Yeah, but you, you kind of get the deal. MIDI's not my thing, if you haven't noticed yet. Um, but aside from that, just to kind of show you how to arm multiple tracks, we're still figuring out how to do it from the software. But when you have your hardware hooked up, all you have to do is hold the shift button. And then you just go and you arm the other track you want to. So boom. So now we just armed track one and track two. Then we armed track three and track four at the same time. Now it doesn't work if you don't hold all the shift button at the same time. So if I go back, see, it jumped between tracks. It's just armed one at the same time. But if you hold shift, it works. Let's see if it works with the keyboard. It doesn't work with the keyboard. Maybe command might be it. There you go. So if you hold command on the keyboard, then it'll arm all those tracks at the same time. So then when you hit record, uh, it should record all of those MIDI events at once and allow you to, you know, basically record your outboard gear at the same time that you do your MIDI events from like your regular keyboard. So covering that, you have MIDI multi record now. Um, you have MIDI send uh improvement handling midi inputs and outputs pad performance in the front screen now and you have retrospective record uh, aside from that there are a couple of other improvements like with the time and correct button um time and correct's always been up here but now you can just do that and time and correct is completely off right so it used to be a hassle having to go through your mpc and having to go around all these different buttons just to get to the swing just to mess around with the time and correct, just to unquantize your drums. But now you can literally just hit this button. So let's say if I want to program some drums um, without time and correct on. All right, no time and correct. So let's do it with time and correct. All right, and see, just like that, we didn't have to go through a lot of buttons to uh, access time and correct. So it really saves a lot of time and uh, it makes it so I don't have to go through multiple screens. So hopefully this is something that you appreciate too. Um, aside from that, there are just a couple bug fixes here and there, and then there's support for the MK2. If you uh, picked up the MK2, you have any tips you want to share with the community, 
feel free to reach out at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. And we have a rebrand coming soon. Something really we're, uh, we're really excited about over here. Going to be doing some good things in the producer community. And uh, we'll share more in the future. But again, don't forget to tell a friend about us. Um, and if you have any questions, hit us up. We'll see you next time. Peace.